with Drew Blair. The days for students at Harding High School are numbered. Next year, they'll move to other schools in East Allen County while Harding is transformed into a career and college academy. Students' biggest concerns are keeping up in the classrooms and fitting in the hallways. New Haven Principal Greg Moeller says his students and staff are already getting ready, but that's not enough to calm parents. Because I feel like you're telling them you were unable to do anything, your failures. I feel like you're telling the kids they're failures. Honestly, I mean, I, I don't want to sit here and be naive about it. There will probably be some challenges, but at the same time, I'm very confident in the staff that we have here, the students that we have here, that we're going to move forward. Now, there's a lot of work to go between now and then, and joining me this morning to elaborate on the transition for students at Paulding, Paul Harding High School is East Allen County School Superintendent, Dr. Carol Green. Thank you so much for being here this You're morning. You're welcome. Thank you. Why is this transition necessary for your corporation? Well, the transition of the students at Paul Harding is part of a larger redesign program. And as part of that program, we are creating a college and career academy at Harding. We're going to take a year to create a dynamite program that will be of interest to students all across our district and hopefully some that are from the outside of our district. But at the same time, it's very difficult to create a program at, while you have a, a school happening. So uh, we'll be transitioning um, the students out of Harding uh, into the other high schools, uh, allowing us the opportunity to work do some physical work at Paul Harding as well as create the program. Some busy months lie ahead for you and what lies ahead for the students in terms of a timeline? Well, uh, we had a meeting with the parents this past week. Uh, next week, representatives from each of our four high schools will be coming and visiting with students at Paul Harding and let's not forget the eighth graders at Prince Chapman. And then when we come back in January, there will be open houses held at each of our four high schools just to make sure that parents and students have uh, all, the dis all the information that they need to make informed decisions. Students then will have the opportunity sub to submit their selections. They have to prioritize two schools, um, and that time period will be from January 11th through the 18th. Uh, when all that information is submitted, then we will look at the capacity of the buildings and um, send out assignment letters on January 28th. Now, you've been through this before um, in other districts you've been involved in, so what kind of challenges can be expected, if any? Well, there are tremendous challenges because, as, as uh, I mentioned before, this isn't just a one high school issue. This is an entire district issue, and there will be you know, several schools that will be closing this year as they go through the transition. So things like books and technology and inventory, uh, class schedules, student records, uh, uh, class lists, transportation routes, communication. One thing, I'm going around the district and meeting with all staffs and then parent meetings uh, once January starts across the whole district. And I say communication is one thing that gets so far ahead of you. You just can't keep up. Um, one thing will be said and three days later it's around the entire district. There's really no basis to it so you, you have to kind of keep ahead of that. We've started a rumor control site on our website, so as we hear things, we're trying to address them. But I've told people it will only be as effective as the rumors that we hear that we're able to address and put up there. If it stays stagnant for a few days, people are going to stop looking at it. So keeping uh, information and, and communication lines open with our staff, our parents, our community, that's one of the biggest challenges through this process. And of course, the end result, this academy, Harding, will be turning into, how is that going to be beneficial for the district? Um, I think it's going to be just one more alternative program for students in our high schools. We have several. Uh, but this is one that's really going to draw in the community resources, the community partnerships, business and higher education and industry. And so that when, when students uh, leave, they're on a, 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 a direct career path or college path and they've been preparing for that for four years. Okay, Dr. Green, thank you so much for joining us. You're I know we'll be talking about this for a little while to come because there's a lot of work ahead. But Absolutely. thank you for detailing it for us this morning. You bet. Now we're